Hey what's going on guys, today we're going to be counting down my top 10 favourite LEGO train mocks. This list is my opinion so let me know what you would change in the comments below. You can find links to all the mocks shown in this video in the description. Now that's out the way, let's start counting this list down. Coming at number 10 we've got the subway train. The green, white and black looks really nice together. I like the numbered tiles here. These look cool as well. Inside the train driver's cabin bit is detailed with a screen and a lever. I think the glass at the front here is from a plane or a jet maybe. Moving into number 9 we've got the A1X Terrier. The brown and red looks good, I like the stickers. There's the Brick Tricks, 6R5 and X just here. The black part at the front looks cool with the little bit of gold. And this doesn't have a motor in the back so it can't move by itself. But I like the circular windows facing out the front and the back. You could easily attach carts to the back of this as long as it's got the pieces to attach it. Coming into number 8 we've got Jangbrick's diesel electric train. This is very green. He says in his video where he shows this off that this isn't supposed to be a replica of any real life train. He just wanted the train for his Lego city so he built his own from scratch. But anyway I really like the use of loads of different pieces. This has some stickers. And I like the look of the front. I like the pattern here as well. Moving into number 7 we've got the WBTNS. I don't think this has a motor so it can't move by itself. But the piece connected to the wheels looks cool. I like the way this looks with the overhanging red roof. I like the stickers with the number 1 and the WBTNS. They're simple but look really good. I like the railing or the pole piece if, if you'd call it a piece but they look really good on here as well. Coming in number 6 we've got the Ivert Class 4. This is a black train with a bit of red which are stickers just wrapped around these pieces. Again these stickers look cool. The pieces connecting to the wheels make this look realistic and all the bits poking off the top of this train look cool as well. This has to be one of the most realistic trains on this list so that is why it came in at number 6. But moving into number 5 we've got the Atmark. This looks really realistic too. It has the Atmart sticker and 5R7 on the side. The front looks really good. I like how it's mostly blue, grey and red. And it's cool how you can stick a minifigure at the front of this if you wanted to. Finally the railings down the side look cool as well. Moving into number 4 we've got the Daylight. This is orange, red and black. The Daylight sticker looks really nice. I like the pieces on the wheels. The windows are cool, I like the size of the wheels, they remind me of like an older train but the body of it reminds me of a modern one, I don't know I thought that was pretty cool. But the cart behind it says Southern Pacific and I like all these pieces sticking out to make it look like ladders. Coming in at number 3 we've got the Erie Railroad, this looks really cool. It's like a Batman train with the black and yellow, the shunter thing at the front is the most detailed yet out of this list I think. And it looks like it's got something that can attach another train or a carriage to the front. I like the coal all built up in the back here and how the wall goes up like that. Moving into number 2 we've got the Texas State Railroad. This looks really nice with the green, red and black. I don't know why but there are so many mocks in this list that use red and black. But anyway I like how the colours change at the front here. I also like how the builder actually shaped the circular bit at the front because most of the others that have the rounded bit already have the circle as a one piece. But the person who made this used cheese slopes. The stickers are nice, there's a 500 and the Texas State Railroad sticker. Finally coming at number 1 we've got the Jules Verne train. This is from Back to the Future. This looks really cool, I like how it all moves as well. The minifigures look cool, but best of all this actually can become the flying train that we saw in the film. This was on LEGO Ideas and it got 10,000 supporters, but LEGO turned it down so it wasn't an actual set. I think you can either download the instructions for free or you can buy them, I can't remember which, but I would have loved to see this in an actual set. So that's the top 10 LEGO train mocks in my opinion. Let me know what you would change if anything in the comment section down below. Head into the description to check any of these mocks out further. Be sure to drop a like if you enjoyed this, subscribe for more LEGO top lists and other than that thanks for watching and I will see you all in the next one.